Pittsburgh here. Welcome back. We are not at the bench tonight. Tonight we are in the shop of Josh. Josh here is the owner of Dark Horse Tactical Solutions. Um, Dark Horse Tactical Solutions is a holster company. How long have you been around now? Uh, since 2012, officially. Okay. So, 2012, you've been been sticking around. Um, so I've used a lot of Josh's holsters, anything from his folded holsters all the way up to what he is using now. Josh has really been focusing on improving the entirety of his holster making process. And so here we are, we're here to take a look at what his processes are and see what he has to say about holsters in general, the industry, and where he came from. So speaking of which, uh, how did you get your start in holster making? So way back, in 2000 and, was it nine, maybe 10 when Magpul came out? Yeah, was there about that. Training videos or whatever. Um, started watching their training videos and Chris Costa and Travis Haley were using um, Raven Concealment and they were using their Phantom Holsters um, pretty much for everybody in the class because I think Raven Concealment sponsored it. So then everybody went through the craze of, oh, the new plastic fantastic Kydex holster from Raven Concealment. Everybody had to get their hands on them. So then Raven Concealment, <clears throat> I bought my first holster um, from them for my um, for my Smith & Wesson uh, M&P first gen. And um, got that thing in I think eight to 12 weeks, which was kind of the standard uh, lead time back then. Um, for Raven Concealment anyway. There weren't a lot of holster makers back no, then. No, it was Especially Kydex. And then Bravo Concealment popped up. Um, there's a few of the smaller guys that aren't Raven size or Bravo size that are um, that have been, been doing it since, I think, 2008. Um, but anyway, so Raven Concealment had that high wait time, and that seemed to be the only people around, and the internet was still kind of not a great place to be able to, you couldn't Google a lot back then. Um, I mean, obviously you could a little bit, but anyway. Um, so I got tired of wanting to wait for a inside the waistband holster for eight weeks, 12 weeks, whatever, whatever their lead time was at the time. And then right around that time, YouTube was catching fire. A lot of people were doing tutorials. So I started watching tutorials, and that's basically how I got my start. Um, and I was doing it over blue guns, um, was because that was all the rage back then. And then it eventually kind of went to specifically made mold guns that were holding better tolerances, um, so to speak. And then you got into vacuum forming and uh, CNC molds, which is where we're currently at, is vacuum forming CNC molds and testing, test fitting with the real steel. All right, so we've, you've gone, come a long way, haven't you? Yes, <laughs> yes, a really long way. And it's so much easier now. So the, um, the name, Dark Horse Tactical Solutions, where, where'd that come from? Okay, so the name came from when I was in the Marine Corps and I was going through MOS, um, my MOS training in 29 Palms, and there's a battalion there called Dark Horse. It's 3-5, if memory serves me correctly. And they have this, you know, big old emblem of Dark Horse, and their uh, little emblems all made up, and it just looked badass, the name sounds badass, and everybody was doing tactical solutions, or just tactical behind their name, so I thought, well, hell, I like the name Dark Horse. I like Dark Horse Comics, Dark Horse Tactical Solutions. There you go, there's my name, and I ran with it. It's a long name, but I enjoy it, so that's kind of why I went with it. It's kind of badass. <laughs> so we went over your new tooling a little bit, your new process of the uh, CNC molds and the vacuum forming. Yep. Can you expand on that a little bit? Uh, what are we looking at? Um, you know, Why go that direction? So basically, the reason that you go that I went this direction was to be able to produce the holsters in a more consistent and um, faster um, process so that the lead times aren't excessive and I mean most of the industry has lower lead times we're not in the huge lead times anymore just because the tooling has come such a long way um, 
So the basic idea behind my new tooling is that you have attachment points here, attachment points here, and then your attachment points here. And that provides six different options for you to um, basically put attachments on there. And then you can have a modular or as close to modular of a holster as you can possibly get um, without making the process overly complicated. Um, and then... And that's all with one set of tooling. That You don't have to block up a gun to be correct. able to make that every time. You don't have to block different things. It's just one mold will give you all of those options. Yep, one mold, I don't, have to, I don't have to edit it at all. Just put the plastic on there, form it, pop it off, drill a couple holes, and then I use my trim jig that basically cuts the profile out and um, gets me a finished finished holster shell and then I just um, fold it over and kind of do the finishing process and test fit it with a real gun. Um, and the one thing to be noted is that the uh, molds are right hand only at this point. Um, and that's only because 99% of my orders are all right handed. And there's not enough population for me to account for lefties just yet. Um, if a bunch of guys come out and they say, you know, if 10 guys come out and they say, hey, we want a left hand holster, uh, then I will gladly provide that. The first one that's gonna get it in the future, if anyone does get it, it's either gonna be the Glock 19 or probably the P10C uh, because those are my two most popular um, sellers right now. I'll tell you now, Builder Shooter would be super excited if you got a Glock 19 left hand holster. Oh, I'm sure he would be. <laughs> after how many times we've made holsters. So, I made holster for him. so we've got the process now. So which firearms do you have this new tooling for? What, what, are, you, what are our options as far as firearms go? You got the P10C, Glock 19, the uh, P07, the Shield, the Glock 43, and the Shield's gonna fit the 1.0 and the 2.0, and the 2.0 uh, Smith & Wesson, four and a quarter inch, and that's gonna fit the, I think it's the compact, mm -hmm. and their version that's in between the full size and the compact size. Well, the, like, they've got a four inch and a three and a quarter, or three and three quarter inch. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna fit all the m &P yeah. series guns um, in the 2.0. Um, but it will not fit a 1.0. Well, it will if I fold it over a 1.0 gun, okay. but I don't have a 1.0 gun. So there's a way to make it happen, but more than likely, if popularity gets there, there's a possibility I could do a 1.0 mold, but the 2.0 is a far superior gun, so I doubt that that's gonna become an option. Um, and then the 19 would fit a 26, and a 23. And a 27. And a 27. Mm -hmm. And then the P09 is probably gonna be a standalone mold um, unless you request it, then I can just cut the, you know, cut the open muzzle or whatever, but I doubt anybody's gonna request that for IWB. And then OWB is gonna come in the future. Um, I like OWB options, but it's just the tactical market is not necessarily there anymore for the OWBs. Yeah. A lot of people are running what they fight with anymore. So yeah, most kind of OWBs options. are going to be end up being, being competition based. And then we have the uh, mag carrier, which is universal. It's got a little tensioner in here. You can see that little silver screw, um, and it'll fit any magazine, um, double stack nine and forty, and single stacks. 9, 45, 10 millimeter, um, 380, it'll fit macro off mags. Um, anything that's in between a single stack and a double stack, it'll fit unless it's a double stack not, or sorry, double stack 10 and a double stack 45. Those two calibers will not fit. Anything of that size or larger more than likely won't fit. 
Desert Eagle mags also won't fit. Yeah, Desert Eagle mags will not work. Um, and then I think XD mags, they're some of the biggest in the industry, so they may or may not fit. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can obviously contact me and we can figure out if something's gonna work or if it's yep. not. So we've got six different holster options. Yep. But that's not all of what you're offering. So let's go into what attachment options we've got. Right, now. okay. So the attachment options, you're gonna have, um, obviously I showed you all the, the holes that are part of the holster. Um, so if you look here at the holster, um, this has currently got a strut and loop with a mod wing which tucks the grip of the firearm um, closer to your body. Um, just makes it for easier concealment, uh, better concealment. Then for my personal holster, I got dual loops and the mod wing. So there's, you can see that there's a lot of different variations. There's six in total uh, attachments that you can put on here that is for uh, carrying the actual firearm plus the mod wing. Um, so that leaves us with 12 variations. So you get the, the dual loops like I showed on my personal um, setup. You get a single strut and loop. You can do the dual strut and loop. You could do the foamy clip on the holster as well. Um, and then this is a single um, grip hook is what they're called. Um, there's better views of this stuff on my website, but uh, you can do two of those or you can do one kind of where the where the mod or where the sorry where the uh, strut and loop is you could put the grip hook and then you can do two grip hooks there's like i said 12 variations um six attachment points cool so what um what price point are we looking for these things so price point's going to be anywhere from um 70 to 90. Now the $90 package is going to be what I'm going to call the a la carte package right now. It's going to be called something different on the website, I'm guessing. Um, but it's going to come with two loops, two grip hooks, two struts, one um, mod wing, rather, and then a foamy. And for, for 90 bucks, for the quality of holster that you're getting, I mean, this these are CNC molded holsters. And for the quality of the holster to get all that stuff for 90 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, and if you're, these are all fixed retention. I'm a big fan of fixed retention. I know a lot of guys are um, about the adjustable retention, which will come down the road. Um, but this is my flagship holster and it's done with fixed retention. The retention is not super tight, but it's not loose either. It's a nice audible click. The shape test, it works great with a full mag. It's a full mag. I mean, it's not, there's not much more you can ask for. Um, and currently, I cover, personally, I like to cover um, the mag release for the most part, um, so that you can't act, accidentally actuate it. If somebody doesn't want their mag covered, their mag release covered, I can um, you know, manually cut it out, which is fine. Um, but again, if you just request it, um, there might be a section in there to request it, or I might just say uh, request it in the uh, comments on the uh, order form, but uh, I'll figure that out once I get the website finalized tomorrow and finished but that's kind of the holsters in a nutshell and what you get for it and your price fantastic price point. all right so you've got neutral wing you've got six different gun options you've got six different hanger options for the gun and the mod wing to be able to pair with all of that correct all right so this is your last chance your last opportunity to sell the viewers on your project Okay, so this, this holster and all my holsters, they're made right here by me in the United States. It comes as a flat sheet of plastic. 
I'm, I form it, I fold it, I ship it. All the materials are made in America. All the hardware is sourced in America. All the tooling is made in America. Um, and basically with the modularity that you get in this one holster, you can try any attachment you want. It's a lifetime warranty. If it cracks, splits, or just downright fails, I will replace it for free. Unless, of course, you do something that was just out of pure stupidity, like shoot it. I'm not replacing it if you shoot your damn holster. Um, but any other stuff, I can replace it for free, get it, get it right back to you, so you're not down for weeks at a time, um, and it's not shipping from China. That's it for this time, guys. Josh, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram or Facebook at Dark Horse Tactical Solutions, or you can find me on my website at darkhorseTS.com. Remember guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. If you're looking forward to any of the reviews of Josh's stuff or any of our upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification button. I know. You can find us on Instagram at WorkTheTrigger and on Facebook as Work. Remember guys, I appreciate every one of you and until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work. <laughs>